Shalom. You may not recognize me or even know my name, but I can assure you that I'm very big in Israel. That said, Israel is a tiny country, but so small there's often not enough room to put its name on that of the world. Usually they just write J apostrophe Lem, as if Israel is the capital of Jerusalem instead of the other way around. I was born in Budapest, Hungary, in the late Barbie summer of 1924, August 23rd, to be precise. Eight days later, during a ceremony, the details of which I would rather not discuss, my parents named me Ferenc Hoffman. I survived the war in first from the Nazis and, and then from the Soviets, and finally returned to Budapest at the end of 1945, where I embarked on a career as a writer. I changed my name to Hot in the belief that it would fit more easily onto book spines than Hoffman. However, having made this momentous decision, I discovered there was already another writer, Ferenc Hont, working in Hungary, so I became Little Hont, a, a Kish Hont in Hungarian. Now, despite the fact that the new communist regime turned out to be barely an improvement on its wartime Nazi predecessor, things didn't go too badly. That is until the spring of 1949, when I was approached by the Minister of Culture and informed that I was the hope of socialist humor in Hungary. When it transpired, they wanted me to write a musical on industrialization. I made immediate plans to leave the country. I arrived in Israel a few months later, but soon after my 25th birthday, the boat docking at Haifa, I disembarked my meager worldly possessions, crammed into a small suitcase, and was faced with the uh, ubiquitous immigration officer. Name? Ferenc Kishant. Ferenc? Ferenc? What kind of name is that? It's my name. Uh, Ferenc is a uh, Hungarian for Francis. What kind of name is Francis? I give you a good Hebrew name. I give you, let me see, I give you Ephraim. Ephraim? Ephraim. Ephraim. Kishon. Kishon. No, 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 no. Kishon. Uh, there's a T on the end. Bah, you don't need it. And with that, <laughs> he waved his hand at me dismissively, and I was rushing forward for further processing. Hence, Ephraim Kishon. After the initial shock, I was rather pleased to have a new name to go with my new life. I spent my first six months in Israel as an absorption centre just outside of Haifa where I learned to speak Hebrew and to become a model citizen. It was here that I met some people who were to become lifelong friends, and where I first encountered Vicky. And now, Vicky claimed to be barely literate in his own native language, let alone in Hebrew, but he did have a remarkable, infuriating native wit. Why?